So this is the temperature controller that we will be designing today. I'm heating up the sensor. As you can see, it's 58, 60, 80. I'm heating up the sensor. Two hundred and eleven, twenty seven, thirty five, forty one, forty eight, fifty five, sixty one, I've checked it so many times and it's just working fine and over here you can see along with the time hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about the temperature monitoring system using a graphical user interface GUI designed in Visual Basic so we will design this application from the scratch explaining each and every step so before we start the Arduino programming and Visual Basic application designing, let's first start with the temperature sensor. What is a temperature sensor? A temperature sensor is a device usually an RTD resistance temperature detector or a thermocouple that collects the data about temperature from a particular source and converts the data into understandable form for a device or an observer. Temperature sensors are used in many applications like HV and AC system environmental controls, food processing units, medical devices, plastic injection molding machine. I'm currently working on a plastic injection molding machine and for that I need three temperature controllers and each one capable of handling temperature up to 700 C. One thing is 100% clear that we can't use LM35 but no worries as this is not the only sensor which is available we have so many temperature sensors let's talk about the types of temperature sensors we have thermocouples resistor temperatures detectors thermistors infrared sensors semiconductors thermometers as today's tutorial is about the k-type thermocouple so we will only talk about the thermocouples thermocouple sensor is the most commonly used temperature sensor and it is abbreviated as TC this sensor is low cost self-powered and can be used for long distance there are many types of temperature sensors that have a wide range of applications a thermocouple is a voltage device that indicates temperature by measuring a change in the voltage. It consists of two different metals, opened and closed. These metals work on the principle of thermoelectric effect. When two dissimilar metals produces a voltage, then a thermal difference exists between the two metals. When the temperature goes up, the output voltage of the thermocouple also increases. Some common types of thermocouples include K, J, T, R, E, S, N, and B. The most common type of thermocouples is J, T, and K type thermocouples which are available in pre-made forms so is J, T and K type thermocouples are most commonly used so that's why I selected the K type thermocouple so now let's start with the components that we will be needing for this tutorial so these are the components we will be needing for today's tutorial this is max 6675 and this is a K type thermocouple Arduino, you know, a USB cable. So here is the Max 667 and the K type thermocouple wiring.
six six seven. We see C round SCK CS and SO. Okay, so now the VCC is connected with plus 5 volts of the Arduino and the ground is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino and the SCK is connected with pin number 6 and CS pin is connected with pin number 5 and the SO is connected with pin number 4 and there are two more terminals the plus and the minus so the, the K type thermocouple will be connected with the plus and minus so the red wire of the thermocouple will be connected with the plus and the other wire will be connected with the minus so this is the basic uh, circuit diagram so I have already interfaced the MAX 6675 with the Arduino as per the circuit diagram and this is the KTAP thermocouple and as you can see the red wire is connected with the plus and the blue one is connected with the minus so now we will start the uh, programming okay so now let's start the programming hash include max six six seven five dot h so make sure that before you start the programming first uh, download the max six six seven library and paste that into the Arduino folder in documents so I click on the documents open the Arduino libraries and paste this way here so I have already downloaded it from the github so as you can see the folder github examples so just simply go to the Get github uh, site and download this from there and then paste it over here <coughs> so now we will define uh, some pins integer thermal d0 equal to 4 which is the s open and integer thermal cs equal to 5 integer thermal clk equal to 6 which is the sck of the max 6675 and uh, we'll need uh, one variable for the temperature so that is uh, float temp1 equal to 0 okay and max 6675 thermal couple it's a function and thermal CLK thermal CS thermal zero and a semicolon so <coughs> this is a, a function which is taking three arguments as input and these are three so the CLK is actually pin number six and thermo CS is pin number five or thermo D zero is pin number four now let's start with the white set of function white setup and let's on the serial communication serial dot begin 9600 which is the baud rate and let's uh, use some delay of 
500 milliseconds which is equal to a half second as 1000 milliseconds equal to one second so 500 milliseconds equal to half second and uh, that's it for now now and now let's start with a wide loop so wide loop temp1 equals to thermocouple dot read celsius which is building function and serial dot print ln temp1 okay so now we'll use some conditions uh, which are if temp1 is less than let's suppose 40 send to the computer that the temperature is normal we will uh, the temperature which is less than 40 will take it as a normal temperature so serial dot print ln normal and delay 1000 and let's copy this and paste and this time we use it like greater than 40 and if it's greater than 40 then uh, print for example uh, high you can write anything like it can be you can write a and b over here you can you can write any it's just a command for, we are sending to the uh, visual basic application and else delay 500 Okay, so now let's compile this. Okay, there are no errors. And now let me connect the Arduino you know and let's see how it works right now if you see the serial port is uh, disabled because the Arduino is not connected and now I'm about to connect the Arduino now the Arduino is connected ports and now you can see it's on COM8 let's upload the code And now click on the serial monitor okay now currently temperatures is uh, is 24.5 and you can see it's uh, printing normal so let me heat up the temperature sensor and see how the temperature increases thirty two and now it's high it's greater than forty and now it's printing high okay now it's working now we will start the visual basic application okay so now let's start the visual basic <coughs> click on the standard exe and click open click on the form and write temperature money drink click on the
text box delete the text and name it txt receive while the text box is selected both so delete the text one txt save with the name save you can give it any name now we will need a timer okay and we also need a comp port microsoft common control 6 check and apply it's now added here select this txt save and click on third the both the vertical and the horizontal ones so if I play at this stage it won't do anything because the programming is not yet done so now let's start the programming double click and this is the farm load now let's start the programming for the communication port with MSC 1 if you check its name it's MSC OMM 1 okay with mscom1 dot com port and this one equals to 8 so this is the port number on which the Arduino is installed dot settings equal to 9600 which we used in the Arduino programming and 8 and 1 dot handshaking equal to com RTS And then dot RTS enable set it to true dot D dot DTR enable equals to dot rd r to shoulder is equal to one dot st s the shoulder is also equal to one dot input input mode equal to it's uh, set it to text
and then the dot input length which is this one and that is equal to zero and last port open so we will set it to true okay now let's click on the timer and set the interval to one second and now double click so txt receive dot text is equal to double quotes which are empty clear the text box and then txt receive dot text equal to msc com1 dot input so it means that anything which is coming from the arduino is uh, displayed in the txt receive dot text and then after that what we do we txt save dot text equal to txt save dot text plus txt receive dot text okay so let's check this give it a try connect Arduino and let's play okay so there is something missing which is uh, sorry which is the end width play so now you can see temperature and it's added over here plus wavy new line So now again click on the form, the form and uh, first of all let's change its name, it's uh, temperature monitoring. Okay and now click over here and multi line and make it true and now let's play again. Okay, now it's okay. Let's change the fonts. Click here. Fonts. Twelve and bold. <coughs> Okay, now okay so now let's add the uh, time we'll need a text box delete it we will need another time timer set the interval to 1000 so the time will be uh, updated every one second and I'll click on this and its name is let's check this its name is txt1 so double click and write txt1 dot text equal to time okay now displaying time and now what we have to do we, we have to add time with each reading so that we can know that at which time we had which, what temperature so 
click over here and plus txt one dot text okay let's change it a little bit and again it plus vb new line okay play again okay now it's okay right so now let's add a little bit complexity to the program we'll need a variable so dim dim uh, search as string okay so search equal to txt receive dot text first of all let's add a shape over here click here and change this to circle and in the fill style click select the solid okay and from here we can uh, select the fill color for example green copy this okay now search is equal to text receive dot text now if in string search equal to normal then shape one dot fill color equal to the value that we copied pasted over here and if and if in string search high then shape one dot fill color equal to now again select another color for example the red one so when the temperature is high it will be red and when it's low it will be green and paste the value over here and write end if okay now let's run this now you can see it's uh, back to it's normal and the shape is green now let me heat up the sensor and you will see and uh, just look at here Thirty-three, forty-one, forty-eight, fifty, and as you can see now, the color is changed to red. So it will stay red. It's so now our temperature is decreasing. And when the temperature will be below 40 C, the shape will be green again. I'm just touching the sensor to to make it cool. Forty-two, forty-one, 
40 and 39 and again it's green okay now we can rearrange the form Eight label. Changes time. We can also add date Let's change the border style to none, no, to fixed, sorry, to fixed angle, and now uh, So next time we will add a feedback feature. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching.